an historic day in the impeachment showdown about to begin. President Trump is about to become the third president in American history to stand trial on articles of impeachment. And it all begins today. Here's exactly what's going to happen. At 12 Eastern, the House prosecution team will present the charges against President Trump and the Senate. They'll actually read them out loud. Then at 2 p.m., Chief Justice John Roberts will arrive in the Senate chamber to assume his constitutional role as presiding officers. He's going to be sworn in by the president of the Senate. Then he will swear in the 100 senators. They're going to take a new oath to do impartial justice. Then the Senate will formally notify the White House of the trial and call upon the president to answer the articles of impeachment and to send his counsel to make the case. Our team is covering every angle of the story from the White House to Capitol Hill, where senior congressional correspondent Mary Bruce starts us off. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Today we will see the beginning of the next historic chapter of this impeachment. The full Senate will be sworn in as Donald Trump becomes just the third American president to face a trial in the Senate. With a stroke of the speaker's pen and an historic march across the Capitol. The House has passed H. Res. 798, a resolution appointing and authorizing managers for the impeachment trial of Donald John Trump, President of the United States. This morning, the articles of impeachment are now in the hands of the Senate. President Trump put his own personal interests above the national interests, above our national security, and if not stopped, he will do it again. For that reason, he was impeached. And for that reason, the House managers will take the case to the Senate and to the American people. Chairman Adam Schiff is leading the team of lawmakers that will prosecute the case. Later today on the Senate floor, he will outline the charges that the president abused his power and obstructed Congress by pressuring Ukraine to investigate his rivals. Then the Chief Justice John Roberts will be sworn in to preside, and he will administer the oath to the full Senate. During the trial, all 100 members will have to sit silently like jurors and weigh the evidence. This is the only body that can consider all factors presented by the House, decide what has or has not been proven, and choose what outcome best serves the nation. The Senate is on trial. We will see whether they conduct a fair trial and allow the witnesses or conduct a cover-up. Now, the president's team thinks it is unlikely that this trial lasts more than two weeks, but it's not really up to the White House. And even a handful of key Republicans say they are interested in hearing from additional witnesses. And if they can force uh, the, the Republican leader's hand by getting enough support to call for new testimony and additional evidence, well, then we could see a much longer trial here, George. Yeah, that is the biggest unknown right now. Okay, Mary Bruce, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.